Scottish Prison Service to remove Eileen Bryson from part of Bayless? Uh, the Scottish Prison Service has uh, arrived at a decision that's been opened by the Scottish Prison Service and they've made a decision here. It's important that every prisoner uh, is individually risk assessed, and that's an important principle. But as I've just said in the Chamber, uh, notwithstanding that, as a, a general presumption in principle, the comments that I read out from the Chief Executive of Great Press of Scotland that uh, it can't be right for a rapist to be in a female prison is a statement that I agree with. But did ministers give any direction to the SPS? It, the, no formal direction has been given, no. The SPS does a risk assessment. As I said, in all cases where the risk assessment has been, uh, where a risk assessment is being done, uh, the prison service will not necessarily wait until it is concluded if they think there are reasons uh, for a, a different decision on where a prisoner is accommodated to be. You say, you say no formal direction. But did you make your the, views clear the, to them? I've, I've just made my views clear in the chamber. Uh, to the SPS? I've just made my views clear in the chamber. My views, I think, I'm making clear to you. The prison service has arrived at its decision, as it does in all cases like this. It will complete its risk assessment, uh, but I think in light of the understandable public concern about this, it was important that I said what I said. In Can the you chamber. commit that this pr prisoner won't spend time in a I prison with have, other female prisoners? I think prisoners. I have made very clear from what I've said in the chamber. You talked about Quantumdale. Uh, Quantum Vale is the, the, the women's prison. I think you can be very clear from what I've said today. Do you consider Isla Bryson to be a man or a woman? Um, look, I am not getting into an interview. This case is still sub judice apart from anything else. I might have been concerned, it was right for me to say what I did, but the, the individual case is still sub judice and it's important for me as First Minister to respect But you that. believe people should be able to self-identify their what, gender? What, what I would say is this individual case, it's not about whether they are trans or not. In this individual case, uh, this is a person who's been convicted uh, of rape. So mm -hmm. this individual is a rapist and a mm -hmm. sex offender, and that is what is important.